all you hardcore boxing fans out there now. How are you doing? It's a bit crisp today, isn't it? Big P here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, I'm just on my way training this morning at the office. We've got a gym there. Do a bit of training. Bunny, you bottled it. Big bodybuilder. Sending me videos that you send bench pressing half a ton or whatever it is, Bunny. Whatever you bodybuilders do. Can't put muscles on chins, Bunny. But you bottled it today, haven't you? I've got some on. Thought you were at Tom Platts of Sheffield. Little chest and tricep workout with Porky and you bottled it, Bunny. Right. I want to bring an end to this. Mickey Theo, John Fury YouTube circus because it's turned into a bit of a circus now, hasn't it? Really, it's. Uh, I think both men will look back on it in years to come and probably have a beer and a bit of a laugh about it. It's. Uh, it's become a non-event now, hasn't it? Um, at first, people were excited about it. I for one, but now it's. Uh, it's become a bit of a. Bit of a joke, isn't it? It's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. It's a bit of a joke now. Uh, what have we learnt from it? Well, we've learnt that social media is the place to sell things, and that people want car crash, don't they? So that's what it's turned out to be, and it a bit of a car crash. And I'd put a couple of videos out about it. And look. I need to go back on track and get back to boxing. What are you doing, mate? Get back to boxing. I put a video out, see if talking boxing with some of my peers regarding what's happening in the boxing industry and who we rate as fighters and who we don't. And we do breakdowns of fights and blah blah blah. And, and then you put a video out, say a two minute video with no introductions, no production costs, just something I did on my own off my own back. Do 10,000 views in two days, but yet it does 10 times the views, or maybe 12, 13 times the views that a normal boxing video would do. So, what, 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 what does that say about boxing fans? It, 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 they're not boxing fans, are they? I think uh, Big V touched on this. The casuals aren't they? It's everybody. Want, I don't know. It's, it's not boxing, is it? It's like people want to go to an event and see reality car crash stuff. They want to see normal people, don't they? They don't want to... When you've got professional fighters who are 10 and 0, 12 and 0, 15 and 0, they go on these big YouTube channels and they do, say, a thousand views. And then you've got non-professional fighters. We'll call it non-professional fighters. Oh might be a bit funny or a bit quirky or have a bit of a reputation and they do they do loads of views they go viral and stuff like that and what, what does that say about us as us as a society do we like to see damaged stuff people like me i'm damaged aren't i i don't know i don't uh i don't know i'm i'm uh I know people in boxing industry, the old guard, some of them are my closest friends and they're scratching their heads, promoters, managers, trainers, ex-world champions, I know three, I know three ex-world champions who are good pals with me and they, 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 they're like, what's going on? <laughs> what is going on? The lunatics are running the asylum, aren't they? Uh, Shout out to the Heavy D gentleman, uh, I don't know you, but thank you for the text that you sent, or your email, I think it was an email, uh, Carly says you sent an email, uh, and you want me to go on your channel, thank you for the offer, I think your channel is it called Boominator, I think, I, I think I've seen a couple of your videos, Boominator? get behind him, he's a young lad, he's been in ring so he, you've got to give him respect, he's had a few handful of fights, uh, but I'm going to have to decline your offer, but thank you very much 
for the offer it's nice to be thought of uh, and I wish you all the best I like to see people doing well or at least having a go to do well there's nothing wrong with that oh, a cop car up now I see it Woo. So, uh, it's amazing how one, it's like going for a swim in it and you're seeing a shark in it. Then you think, what am I doing here? I've got no on me. I'm insured, I'm not banned, taxed, I'm OT'd. I've got my old habits die hard, I think. Oh, it's turning off now. <laughs> But uh, no, I think what what it says as a, about us as a society is we just want Big Brother, isn't it? It's like Big Brother, isn't it? Or I'm a celebrity. We want that kind of thing, and if that's the way forward, you know, I'm told down now. If that's the way forward, so be it. But what does it say about people like Josh Whale, my pal? Uh, Cash Alley, they don't get much press, do they? You know, they, they, they're putting effort in, aren't they? Because they're not controversial. I know Cash is a bit controversial against David Price, aren't you? Josh is a clean cut kid, isn't he? Josh Whale. At J Boy Outlaw. Give him a follow, alright? All you people who are on Twitter and you don't follow J Boy Outlaw. At J Boy Outlaw. Give him a follow or give at Mickey's Athletic a follow because they're boxing people just like Mick Hennessy. Boxing people and, and Dennis as well. I mean, Dennis doesn't do all that social media, does he? Probably why our stable's weak to say we've got TV. Uh, the boxing people, aren't they? Boxing people. There is boxing people that overcook the Twitter thing, isn't there? And stuff like that. And they're hanging out of the back of other promoters. And we know who they are, don't we? But Mick and Dennis, they don't hang out of, out of the back of people. I certainly don't. I'm trying to think what I could cause an argument with, with Dennis when he phones me later. Just rile him up. <laughs> it never bites, though, does it? Dennis, you're an ice man. An ice man. I think Dennis's problem is had people who were just quiet, like Clinton Woods around him all them years and just happy go lucky. I mean, it's like Dennis said, you couldn't get away with that, Clinton. You have to nip him to get away with that of him. Just an easy going, nice bloke, isn't he, Clinton? Bum bum, love you, Clinton. Uh, could you imagine if Dennis had have had Tony Bell, you? God, they'd have been at it, wouldn't they? They'd have had a knock on back garden, wouldn't they? Oh my god. They'd have been at it. But the John Theo, John Fury, Mickey Theo, or Mickey Theo versus John Fury fight. I think we've all learnt that the talkers and the smoky bacon walkers. There is. I'll be having a bag of smoky bacon later. You can't eat a good bag of smoky bacon. Actually, I'm more of a frazzle man. So, bit of chest and triceps. Knock a couple of videos out to keep ticking over, keep the old mind going. So I'm not thinking about cocaine. And I might even treat myself to a, two bottles of black sheep tonight. Maybe a bag of smoky bacon. I'm going to take a leaf out of Ronnie Biggs's book. Right, Ronnie Biggs said all he ever wanted was to come back to England, go to Margate and have a pint of real ale viewing the beach and the sea and that sit outside a pub and well tonight all I want to do is have a couple of bottles of black sheep with a bag of smoky bacon crisps or frazzles depending on what's in the cupboard and uh, I'm going to watch I'm up to episode 6 I think or 5 on, it, on series 3 on Peaky Blinders Somebody who I, used, who I know got me into that. It took me ages to get going in it. 
I think it's losing its touch a bit from the first couple of series though at the moment, but I've finished that Ozark, Carl Froch. I've finished it and yeah it's good. Coogan, yes, I've finished it. It is good. It is good and the star of it is Ruth Langburn, Langborn, she's the star, isn't she? She's gonna be a big star. Uh, she is she nailed that role. I think they all did. I think that Jason Bateman's a really good director, but that's a classic, that Ozark, it's like Dallas and Sopranos. And Minder and Sweeney. Mick Whale, I've got Sweeney box set for you at home. Never been watched. Got that for you at home when you want it. Let me know. When you've uh, when you when we come out of this virus. So 50 quid for a valet. Cheaper than you that Coco, ten or cheaper. Might have to go there, but we're in Dalton here, you leave, like leaving your car around here for a valet, they might burn off in it. Where am I gonna be then? Maybe I'll skid row. Shout out to Big V, Matt, Dale Nichols, Ozzy, Steve Wellins, Smido, Andy Patterson, when you're coming on and to do a balls deep on my channel. Episode 7 with Andy Patterson. I've got some questions ready for you, Andy. We want your expert advice. Only because you're Dennis's favourite off at Boxing Asylum. Get you on, Andy Patterson. Talks good boxing sense, Andy Patterson. A lot can be learnt from Andy Patterson. I'd like to see him with a board licence or some advisory role, because some of these that are blagging it in boxing industry, oh my god. I mean, we're advising Kel Brook to fight Golovkin. We won't put Paulie Malignaggi in with Golovkin, would we? Hey, Would be heck. Would we put Lloyd Unigan in with uh, Marvin Agler? I don't think we would, would we? So, would we put Pacquiao in with Triple G? No, we won't, would we? Would you put Pacquiao in with Canelo? No, they'd be screaming, wouldn't they? So why would we put Kel Brook in with Golovkin? I'll never get that out of my head. Our world, world class elite fighter were ruined like Kel Brook for pound notes. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that. So I'm gonna do another video in a minute. I'm gonna let rip in this next video. <laughs> get ready, get ready. I was gonna add it to end then, but this video needs no introduction, there's no production. I'm just gonna steam straight into this next video. I am raging on this next one. Raging. But, uh, I think I've woke up this morning. I'm in my shorts this morning. Cold as well. It's crisp, but cold. Early Saturday morning. If I can get till 12 done today, four hours in. Four hours on a Saturday. I'd normally be just going to bed now after being sat up from midnight looking out at blinds. Ah. Scott Brunt's coming for me. <laughs> We're sliding in one. Well, I'm hardly going to be looking out at blinds saying Steffi Bull's coming for me, am I? So my seven year old twins had to sort him out. Steffi! We're his village people, Tash. <laughs> YMCA. Look at that. First one in, eh? First one in. Hard work, dedication. Hard work, dedication. So, I think that's about it, really. So, alright. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. It's a fantastic sport. Get behind fighters. Get behind all these fighters that are putting that the... the, the uh, the life's not lying in ring for, for, for what? For buttons. Brass buttons. Alright, peace out.